Hello everyone, this is L2 coming at you with another video. I'm here in China. This is my temporary setup for my uh, videos here. I haven't, you know, uh, really come upon anything yet because I'm still rearranging my room and finding out, you know, where things will be comfortable. But I want to get right to it. Let's talk about a little bit of politics here. Uh, we, uh, in China here, I have a, well, yeah, of course I have a TV, as you saw in the last video where I gave you a tour of my room. But I have a CNN and I also have HBO and then other Chinese channels and I think one or two English channels more. But, um, you know, more on that later. But anyways, I always watch CNN and it's one thing I just wanted to make a comment about where uh, the floods in Louisiana, you know, my prayers and thoughts go out to people that were affected to that with, with all of that. But also, you know, Donald Trump making his trip down there, but then criticizing Obama for not immediately going down to Louisiana to visit the, the people that were affected by all that flood. You know, it, it's, it's, I read an article that explained it all. It would be really senseless for him to go down there because of all the security that he would need in order, you know, that just goes along with being president of the United States. You know, it would take, you know, police away from first responders and all those people that are helping the flood victims, taking them away to provide security that is protocol for the president. So Donald Trump didn't really think about that. He's criticizing Obama for not going down there immediately. But Obama, you know, I think has some forethought about it, saying that if he went down there, it would take away from the rescue efforts that uh, the people in Louisiana needed. So I'm, I'm just going to leave it there at that with Donald Trump. You know, believe me, I may be in China, but I'm keeping up on all Being of here, the politics. I've met a lot of people from different countries. I've met uh, teachers from Wales, teachers from Australia, uh, teachers from Korea, teachers from Canada, you know, and they're all asking, you know, and I even try to get their opinions on what they think of the politics going on in the United States. And, you know, they just think it's a circus just as much as I do. You know, and there I have not met one teacher yet that is a Trump supporter. You know, they just don't know how it's going to be working here in the United States. So just to give you that little bit of information. And now about some of the things I'm doing here in China. When I had, uh, well, before I even came here and I was visiting the website of the school, they had this wonderful picture of all these different colored, uh, I think they're ceramic cows, you know, that were life-size, you know, planted around uh, the entrance part of the campus. And so I took a walk looking for them and I couldn't find them. And then all of a sudden I was taking a walk one other day and I stumbled upon them. And they were all in a different area because of the uh, construction that's going on on the campus. There's extensive construction going on on the campus where they're paving new roads and everything like that. So they had to move the cows. <laughs> they move the cows. <laughs> they had to move the cows. <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, <laughs> they had to move they had to move the cows to a different location so that they can complete the construction on the campus. So here's a little video on that. Just a little bit, I was out taking a walk this morning and these are the cows that I saw in the website and I was wondering where they are. But they're over here now because there's so much construction going on on the campus. They're really doing a lot of construction, so it's kind of treacherous to walk. That's just a little bit of it. But uh, these are the cows that I saw on the website and I was wondering where they were, and here they are. And then about a day later, I had, you know, as I said, I have met some uh, teachers from different countries and from the United States and everything. And um, there was this talk about this little bar that was right off campus that was uh, uh, started by a um, um, that was started by a teacher that used to work here, and her and her husband 
you know, started it, and it was a place for teachers to unwind. So we were trying to walk. There's a little village that's right outside the uh, campus, and it kind of reminded me of Mexico when I was going through uh, Cancun or Zihuatanejo on my first video. But anyways, it kind of reminded me of that. But it was such an off-the-beaten-path bar that we were trying to find it, and we were just walking around the village. So here's a little video of that. Oh, tonight, yeah. Okay. Searching all the rooms. Searching all the rooms for Probar, you know. I can't find the booth. I'm going to find the dust on the booth. Well, the silly thing about it is there's all that equipment lurking in the separate rooms. But they don't think they're pulling all out, so they can pull it. Oh, yeah. And as far as the educational portion of it, um, I have uh, started meeting with some of the other teachers. Uh, I think I remembered previously that I said I was going to be a fourth grade homeroom teacher, but come to find out after all the meetings, I'm going to be a sixth grade homeroom teacher. So I've met the other teachers that I'm going to be working with, found out what classroom I'm going to be in and everything, and got the chance to set up my classroom. So I'm going to be showing you in this next little clip um, my classroom before I met the new students. They had a, a, a section of time or a, a period of time where all the new students to the school came up to visit the school, uh, visit the dorms, get their uniforms and visit their classrooms and everything. And we had a class of 13 students. So this is a little video of my classroom after I had set it up, before I had met the students, and then the part after I had my first lesson with the new students and what we did in that lesson. I can't show the students, I'm not going to show the students, but this is the pre and the post of my classroom before and after the students, so take a look. Just wanted to introduce you to my classroom. I set some things up. I'll be having my first class of students, inquiry B. We're doing the IB curriculum and uh, I'll be, we have new students just today, so I'll have about uh, 10 new students on here. So it's a nice classroom. I had to put up those blue paper on there because, you know, the walls weren't all that uh, nice and they suggested I do that. So the air conditioning system, that's the purifier right there. That's the purifier. And then I put up some of these IB things here and everything. So I'll be doing a unit with the students uh, today for from 9.10 to 9.50. And I'm liking it so far. This is pretty awesome, nice classroom, nice big classroom. So. Just finished my first lesson with a class of 13 kids. They're all new kids and uh, to the school, Ouija private school. And uh, so I did this thing on the back, on the board with them, where, I don't know if you can see it, focus, 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 but um, that's their names right there. And then I asked them what they liked personally and then what they liked at school. And they were all telling me, and then uh, to get them, it's uh, the lesson was an inquiry lesson uh, according to the IB, and so I found out about them. I told them a little about me, that I was from Austin, Texas, and then add them, tell a little about themselves, and then ask each other why they like, like um, one student up there said they like to eat, and then they like restaurants, as you can see right across from each other. I think that was the sec first student, Ivan. He says he likes to eat and he likes restaurants. And then I had like Mark ask 
Ivan, or is Ivan, why he liked to eat and why he liked restaurants. So just a little bit of inquiry and letting them know. They speak better English than they think they do. Uh, when I was talking to them, uh, I, one of the questions was, who speaks English? And no one raised their hand. <laughs> so uh, then I got in the talk and there's another one kid. Um, he kind of like took the lead in translating a little bit. And then they kind of opened up and everything. So it was a good lesson. Good first day. Glad to meet the kids. Glad to be back in the classroom. Wow, it, it, it felt really good. And today we got the opportunity to take a bus trip to a mall that was maybe about uh, 45 minutes to an hour's drive uh, from the campus where there was more of a, a Western um, um, shopping mall that we could go to to get some items that you know you might not be able to find here on campus or in the next little town. Uh, there is a Walmart here. It's a three-story Walmart, but it, it's pretty crazy. I'll have to take the camera out and, and do a little videoing of uh, vlogging of that when I go there next time. But we got on the bus um, and there were about maybe 15, 15 people, about 15 teachers that went on this bus. You know, we went there early, had some lunch, and then did some shopping, uh, and then came on back to the campus. So uh, this is just a little video of uh, the bus ride up there. Uh, on the trip to Sunyi shopping. See, that was another thing. I was just going to get to them. Suddenly, the last thing was going to be flag raising ceremony. We should get there in about 45 minutes. You know, it's a Chinese thing. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, click like. If you sub please subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them in the section below. Uh, but please like or subscribe my videos. Thank you for watching again. I'm going to try to still make videos every week while I'm here in China. So stay tuned for that. This is L2 to you. I'm out.